Hello and a very warm welcome to Healing Hands Services. My name is Julie Sean and we're here today on Friday the 19th of February 2021 to do card for the day. The deck I am using is Keepers of the Light by Carl Gray. <clears throat> so get ourselves grounded, call in our angels, archangels, gods and goddesses, ascended masters, ancestors, elementals and anyone else who want to be with us. Um, and as I was shuffling, this has happened. Now, we've had the Cerebus Spade before, um, but he literally, shuffling, saying I'm calling in the ancestors and sending masters, and literally he's fallen at our feet. So without any more to do, Cerebus Bay, Ascension, move into your true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. Now, this could be metaphorically because a pandemic is darkness, but we are now coming through it. The end is in sight. The light is at the end of the tunnel. The ascension, we are ascending out of all this, this the feeling of fear, the feeling of overwhelm, the feeling of loss, the feeling of sorrow, the feeling of, oh my gosh, what's going on? And I'm scared. The feeling that, you know, when you go out with the masks on for protection and, you know, not having the eye connection. And when you come in close to anyone, you're walking away. Um, there's there's none of the coming togetherness. And we're all being feeling, and we're all isolating in our own homes. And we're all, yes, shut away. We're in the dark and we're all lost. And we've got people who've lost jobs people have lost incomes people have lost family and friends relations with all that's been going on and it's just like oh my god how am I going to cope and we are in the darkness but we are rising the whole mother earth is rising up rising her vibration because can you remember when the the um especially in the UK, when the um, pandemic started and we were all locked in and within a couple of weeks, how clear the waters in Venice were and the dolphins returned and suddenly you were going out and in the trees, they all looked so green and there was no smog and quickly um, in, a planet, in, in massive big cities, you could see the city skyline because the smog had lifted and it allowed Mother Earth to breathe. It allowed her water to breathe because of all the the um all the junk that we were pumping out into it the animals came out to play i mean in the old day in the olden days you would go for a walk and the rabbits you wouldn't see until late at dusk then when we all started going out walking in the park you were seeing the rabbits out at three or four in the afternoon but the deers were coming it was just everything were coming out of the shadows the mother earth was coming out for darkness into a light and cerebus bay is saying we are now coming out of the darkness of the pandemic yes we're not there we're starting but we can now start to see the light and he is all about ascension moving up moving forward now if you look above his third eye he has an infinity sign life just goes on and on uh, something is born it grows it dies goes back into the earth but something else is born grows and goes back into the earth spring summer autumn winter spring summer autumn winter spring summer autumn winter we have the sun rises it sets the moon rises and sets the sun and it, you go from day to night and it's there's an it's forever changing as the seasons change the world change and as such we ourselves are changing and we are ascending and realizing that there is more to life than material needs there is a need for our love there is a need for our spiritual guidance now cerebus bay excuse me while i find him and let me see what the beautiful, wonderful Carl Gray has to say about this amazing card, Cerebus Bay. Cerebus Bay, ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Cerebus Bay is the light keeper in charge of ascension. He once served as a priest in Luxor, Egypt, helping those passing on to cross over into the light. 
Now he is a, a presence we can call on in order to ascend. Ascension means rising up. It reminds us of the story of Christ being resurrected after death. This means that Serapis Bay can guide us from our lowest states of being back to the light. His energy is almost like that of a phoenix, giving us the support to move out of our own hell of darkness into a space that supports our growth. The stars cannot shine without darkness. You may have experienced a low state of being, of trauma or depression, but this is a new beginning. Become aware of growth. There is always room for improvement. There's also a sense of presentation now. You may be receiving documentation or certification to acknowledge your growth or experience. It's important to cherish this time and to realize that without the challenges or obstacles you have faced, you wouldn't be as, as strong, powerful or as, or as focused as you are today. You are ascending personally, and spiritually at this time, and the universe is here to support it. So, you know, when he helps those to pass over into light, yes, he used to be, you know, when you part, when you but when you died to rise up to the heavens or wherever you, your spiritual thoughts you go. And but when you move, you die from your past, you know, I used to be this quiet lonely person but now you know I've learned to find my my voice I've learned to be able to stand on my own two feet you know everyone was always telling me what to do as a child but now I've got my own home I'm running my own business I can do this you know you're stepping in so you're letting go of the past you know you, you're sort of saying right in my past all, all this awful trauma happened I'm acknowledging it it made me who I am but I am here today and I've embracing it and look how much stronger and look how much I've grown and I'm shining my light and you can talk to other victims and go look yes I went through that this is how I felt and this is how I came through this is you know and you can commiserate and lead so whatever trauma in your life you know rise and just allow yourself to rise up into the light and it doesn't mean, you know, spiritual or anything. It's just sort of like, like, yes, the light is, I can do this. I am able to do this. When you're working from your heart center and it's like, oh, yes, rather than working from bitterness, resentful, regrets, you know, working from, you know, they didn't forget, they did this to me and I'd never forgive them. Well, you don't know the circumstances, understand the circumstances. You know, maybe you are the perpetrator. Maybe you are the controller. Maybe you are the dictator. Maybe you're the one who has been deceitful to others. Maybe you are the one who's been a bitch or a cow. Maybe you're the gossiper. And you decided, you know what? Uh, people around me are not my true friends. Because if I gossip about them, they're going to gossip about me as well. Do you like that? So maybe it's time to sort of go, you know, I don't like who I am. I need to change my ways. I need to be more loving and kinding, kindness towards people. And that is shifting towards the light because what attracts is attract, light attracts the like. So if you are forever gossiping about people, slandering people and putting them down, they're going to do the same to you because you've all got the same group of friends. And, and, and if, if, a, B and C all meet up and, 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 and slag off D and the next day B, C and D get together, they'll slag off A, which is you. Because you're in that group of people who slag each other off. That doesn't help each other. But if you're in a group and you're all going, how are you doing? Oh, you're doing brilliant and well done. And, I, and, 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 and praising each other. Oh, I helped this person. Oh, that's a good idea. Should we go and do the food bank and things like that? And suddenly you'll find you're surrounded by people who will lift you up. And you will start thinking nice things. And that is working from your heart. And that is the rising up. And that is what Cerebus Bay is all about, ascending. Ascending into your heart and into your third eye crown and ascending up and realising who you truly are. 
removing the past, cutting the cords. We had Archangel Michael yesterday, all about cutting cords. And he is saying, now you've done it. Cut the cords. Embrace it. Yes, it's happened. Learn from it and ascend and change. Because sometimes something dramatic has to happen to make that change. Because sometimes, you know, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then suddenly something, you know, people, oh, we've got to change your life, got to change. And then suddenly, wham, bang, you have a heart attack. Then they suddenly go, I need to exercise and think. But if you'd done that months ago, you would never have had the heart attack. But the heart attack is a wake up call, you know. So, you know, and it's suddenly like, you know, you've been eat, drinking Coke and biscuits and things. And then suddenly they tell you you've got diabetes. But they've been telling you for years, watch your diet, you'll get diabetes. And then you suddenly get it. And then it's like, it's a wake up call. I need to get healthy. I need to change my diet. But if you've done that years ago, but sometimes you need this big shock. Maybe that's why the world has had a pandemic, a big shock, because everyone's been ignoring, ignoring, ignoring. And so we needed a big bang to wake us all up and to ascend us into the light and be kind and loving to each other. Thank you, Serapis Bay, for being here to help us to ascend into the light of love. If you've enjoyed this reading, don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to book your own reading, message me. Um, and uh, have an amazing day connecting with Therapist Bay. Take care. Namaste. Bye.